All right, well, that's not is what that I was anticipating. Omni? I'm not sure what the hell. All right, this well, is. something awesome's happening here. This, I there's guess, this is probably something. some male Magnus. That's a little disappointing. Yeah, I mean, I've seen yes. some some CIS mid Omnis lately, so I got a little excited. But uh, it looks like we'll just be for some male then. So of course, he's he's well known for his Magnus. Has a very good one, uh, and then that'll be throwing this Omni over to Universe and RTZ on his AM. As much fun as a mid Omni would be to see from EG. Does not I mean, seem their style. Let's let's not count our chickens just yet, man. We don't know for sure if it is or <laughs> maybe they've been watching. Isn't. I don't know. I'm, anything could happen. It's uh, day one. It's the second series of the day. Who yeah. knows what the hell's going on? I mean, as you're saying, in terms of like matching up against Alina, Shockwave will be a very handy tool to have. You can just kind of, although you're a melee hero, so it would suck. But if you're a Magnus mid, at least you'll have the Shockwave to try and rely uh, a little bit on that. your CS. Yeah. Also, so, levels wouldn't be an issue either. And usually, when you're in the offense, sometimes you have a tough time finding that experience, especially if you're getting zoned out pretty heavily. But uh, he should be fine. They uh, they ban out the games. Ursa. Who's a good hero against AM. Uh, with that physical damage and quick burst to try and bring him down. So at this point, uh, he's also a defusal by carrier, which you probably want against Omni, even though they're not quite as good as they used to be. Uh, still nice for that Guardian Angel. And uh, so probably looking for some combination there. Uh, there is the Jug, but again, yeah. there's this RP and the Animage can kind of man fight you. So I, I don't know, you'd have to be pretty confident in your Jug uh, if you wanted to go that way. Anything else standing out to you right now besides that Juggernaut? It seems uh, to be one of the Weavers, classic picks. Weaver's like kind of okay. Mm, Builds yeah. defusal. Okay. Can rat a little bit, but doesn't offer any control. Not an Abyssal Blade builder. Well, we should have known. Terror Blade. That's okay. an interesting pick, I suppose. But uh, one that is starting to become more and more common as we get through the Kiev uh, first couple of games. So, all right. What are you thinking, Trent? Tell me about this, uh, this Terror Blade pick. Seen him right. Uh, this is an AM and an Omni Knight. So early on, not the strongest. Uh, the Omni doesn't really have any D push. AM doesn't. We have Shockwave. Um, we have Ether Shock when he gets into some levels there. So they're just going to kind of try and bring that tempo from TNC, control enough of the map with Metamorphosis, take down these early towers. You have the Crystal Maiden to keep the team up and rolling. No natural HP regen, though. No mech builders, no helm builders, really. So that could be a concern. That might be kind of like one and done pushes. But when you're working with Metamorphosis, it kind of works out that way anyway. Yeah. So this is uh, pretty solid. Lena gets that damage rolling early on. Uh, right, probably going to be looking towards that blink on the axe to uh, really give them that big momentum. But I could see TNC doing it again here. Yeah, they, there's a definite possibility. There's a lot of control for this anti-mage, as you mentioned, with the Terrorblade coming out. They have really good push potential. This is a definitely doable draft, really for both teams. Again, if we were coming into game number one, most people would probably give the advantage to EG, considering, of course, you're playing up against TNT. After that first game, though, I'm not so sure. Uh, they do have the Shadow Shaman again, so they have some pushing of their own. Very good team fight, as we mentioned, for, for EG with RP coming out, but... We'll see how this, uh, this gets started. I imagine Tim's will be wanting to roam around pretty your land here, maybe to go mid, potentially. I don't know. We'll see how the landing phase goes. What do you think about the landing phase in general, Trent? Uh, I would say the first early half of the game should be pretty well favored towards TNC in terms of heroes. But EG, of course, is a team well known for their later game uh, tactics and strategy and kind of an advantage in that department. So, uh, I mean, would have said the same thing last game, but that PL was pretty crazy. So we yeah. saw what TV did earlier today. One mistake and you'd be heavily punished as Sumail comes up. But uh, he does have Skewer. So there's that at the very least. You will avoid the gank. However, the bounty rune might be taken here by TNC. They'll drop a ward. I'll leave somebody here, and they'll head back uh, with mm, a couple of the heroes into their own jungle. Meanwhile, EG are doing the same, but this time top lane. Sam H not wanting to try to fight here. So just some interesting rotations. And also still over here is going to be Zai. He might be able to steal this. We'll see how uh, how well Cuckoo does. He maybe, maybe can scale up LSA and go for it. They shouldn't be able to get this one over towards... Uh, rather, EG shouldn't be able to get the ones over towards the top rune spot. And of course, let's see if Cuckoo can pick this up. Yeah, Sam H is even going to yeah, leave this one, it. so... He gets denied it on both, much like they do. Um, you know, you see that rotation way heavy down bottom. RTZ can just go take the axes, and then Crit just uh, walks on back to deny that one out there from same age. So. Runes. That's what it turns into. Musical bounty runes. So they'll pick up a couple of them. <clears throat> Tim's already starting out mid as anticipated. But again, Skewer has been skilled up for Smail. But uh, we'll see what Cuckoo wants to skill up first for himself. We'll see also if Tim's wants to head top. He definitely wants to get this ward down. And we'll look at the, the rest of the lanes, the lanes and the way they're shaping up. Universe and an aggro duel in with the Triant nearby. Defensive duel in with Raven and Rior. And then top lane, of course, it's starting to turn into uh, duel lanes for both teams as Tim's is rolling up here for now. Yeah, and Samil's already out of tangos. Burned to them both thanks to that first little bit of a engagement. And then uh, the, the pressure coming out already from Cuckoo. So he's got that Null Talisman. Uh -oh. It's pretty hard. 
Rolling Boulder onto crit. He'll just eat his way through towards the tower. Sam H went for spin first. No procs coming out. There's going to be the Shackles coming in. Crit just cancels. He's like, I do not want to die to spins right now. So Sam so H will get some work done. Yeah, that's that's a frightening position to be in. Tim's also has Rolling Boulder ready to go again. He is running in. No, Crit doesn't have a salve, but still be, might be able to juke it away. Arteezy also taking a lot of damage, but Tim's is just going to head out. He's like, that's fine. Oh, look at that roll, too, to make sure he gets to the wave, in, or the creeps in time with that wave. That was, yeah, I was wondering. That's sick. Damn. Yeah, nice little play. Yeah. And uh, that'll get a pull in. And Axe can just deny this. And then they, like, Axe is comfortable fighting in here around these neutrals and stuff. Oh, absolutely. Sam H salving up, just pulling and taking the entire creep wave. Again, Arteezy. He does have Blink now, so a bit safer than he was previously. Uh, Tim's getting close to level two. Again, Rolling Boulder is there. They don't have call yet, so still missing some experience for TNC. But already this uh, this lane, a little bit rough for EG early on in this game, Trent. Yeah, I mean, you'd rather be the Radiant denying this out uh, from an AM than like your Axe missing out on some stuff just because he's pulling into these waves. And he's getting the majority of them, so. Uh, RTC yeah. also doing a very nice job, though, to his credit. All right. Sam H getting zoned back. RTC doing some auto-attack damage. Crit had battle hunger on him for a moment there. Cuckoo back towards mid. Nine last hits, now ten up to the uh, ten of the Magnus as well. So kind of an even matchup. A lot of damage being done. Sumail has a salve ready to go. Cuckoo's running low on his regen. He does have the, of course, Arcane Ore to work with. Yeah, and Raven actually pops him in down bottom, but doesn't really get any denies going. So he'll, he'll get a little bit of pressure going, but Universe is still farming very well. That purification um, just Kind of surprised out. he didn't, like, try and hold the wave or something. They're just trying to put on the full pressure instead. They might try to chase him down. Zai's looking for a potential bash up. Again, Rior's. I mean, they're, I think they can afford to be a little greedy this game with the CM. Um, but they need to be careful with Raven. Bash comes out. We'll keep an eye on him in terms of how much CS he gets and how that bottom lane goes. Yeah, cancel of the clarity. And uh, Rior is going for that little bit of a greedy style again. So Raven got ditched a little on his Slark. But TV, you would think, you know, you can abuse a TV a little bit more in terms of, like, his power and stuff. You can you can actually use a CM to get kills where it was very difficult for a Slark. Not exactly a very strong laner. However, uh, TB using the Metamorphosis can really put the threat in. But Omni is a, uh, a very strange off laner. These guys we don't get to see too much, but yeah. it's pretty it's potent, go. especially with these new shrines. Rolling boulder, RTZ gonna try to make it away. They do have the boulder smash, just putting some pressure on, and that top lane battle hunger will come through as well. He does have a ring of health, so re regen will, will happen a bit slowly. Rior coming in as well. Crit not spotted, but they, they should see the CM momentarily anyway. Cuckoo's level four, almost five, so two points in the Dragon Slave is trouble enough for Sumail to say this isn't worth it. Uh, he's under vision over here. And uh, one of his camps is blocked out, so uh, slowing down his potential farm as he just has some power in the jungle and do some bottle crow. Not a fun yeah. time. No, not great. Again, you're, the, the Lina's getting some pretty good farm too, so Cuckoo's just having a grand old time. This wave will push in though, so Sumail could come back and get a little bit of this experience at the very way. least, if not some yeah. gold. Yeah, nice skewer Three over. Seconds. By the way, ever Perfect. since they rotated Zai Town, or at least since they've shown Zai and Ruor's not been there, Raven has not gotten a single CS in the past like two minutes. Oh, look at that damage. Oh. LSA, Dragon Slave was not available. He just used it. So again, Cuckoo just pumping out the damage. Um, Smail looking for the bottom rune. He will find a DD. Man, that Dragon Slave does so much damage. The range is insane on that ability. Cuckoo went for the LSA animation, decided to cancel it. Universe, like, no. can I use your shrine? <laughs> yeah, Universe is like, it's fine. I have Arcanes, I have Purification. Yeah, I don't need owning, it. owning, dude. Look at this. Yeah. This Terror Blade hasn't got a lasted since you left. Yeah, I know. That's I crazy. Think. There's going to be the counter helix's top, Arteezy, getting a few spins. Axe, of course, coming in and just doing some nice damage. No call just yet. He is about to hit level four. Ether shock from crit. So, again, you know, they're not putting the most emphasis on Arteezy getting farm, but there's farm elsewhere happening now because of this. You have Universe really just getting free farm down to this bottom lane trend. Crazy. Mid lane. Oh, uh, smell gets silenced, God. but he missed the kick. Or he might have died there, honestly. Would have been very close. Raven is getting dove. Universe had a huge purification. He's got another one off cooldown right now, and it's going to be first blood. Universe just dives, gets a solo kill. Zai is not needed. Man, this feels like game yeah. one for Raven. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you think magic damage is going to get TB early with the slow HP pool. How about some pure damage? Like, this is ownage. He's doing yeah. like half his HP pool per spell or something. Yeah, Raven definitely doesn't feel good. This feels a lot like last game. But again, he did come back, so there's still... You know, very early on to this game right now. Yeah, and we no did way. talk about how much work the supports did last game, and I guess this is why, right? Because they're very greedy on their supports. Yes, absolutely. That's something notable for TNC. Rolling Boulder, Crit's going to be found. Uh, they do have the Boulder Smash ready. They actually kick him away. Nice. Gets denied. Nicely done from Crit. Just stays right around those Ancient Bite Dragons. 
he's able to stay long enough in order to avoid giving a kill away. Yeah, good stuff there. Ah, loses 111 for himself, but at least he's denying that out from his opponent. Yeah, he's fine. Who cares? It's fine. <clears throat> All right, well, Samil still trying to get some good farm here. A little bit behind the lane, not by much, actually, uh, considering this matchup and how it's gone. But the big thing is Cuckoo and the damage he's dealing to the Tier 1 tower. Is there any living armor? Tree and Protector is just level 3. He's holding his third point now. So if he wants to go living armor and start healing this back up, he can. Uh, Skewer in was looking for Cuckoo. He tried finding it, but couldn't quite grab the kill. He doesn't have his uh, RP anyways. So. That little bit of damage, though, might have been enough. And I don't know. You can think about a couple right clicks after that Skewer in the, the Shockwave. It would have been kind of close, but... I'm a little worried for TNC this game. Uh, like, yeah. The same thing as last time, and they had the Slark, and he caught back up, much like Raven's gonna do, gets a D-Ward down bottom, but this isn't any mage. Like, you don't have this kind of trump card like he did last game with his PL and how farmed he got and had the abilities to deal with. Uh, instead, you have a, an anti mage that's gonna be accelerated more than your standard anti mage thanks to the Empower, so you kind of have to be worried, I would think, a little bit about a timer here. Yeah, well, the thing is, they are getting same mage some good farms, so if they want to go for that early blink, and put some of that pressure onto RTZ they can. However, he's going to get shackled up. He's underneath the tower. Some spins going through. They've got the frostbite. The call will go as well. Do they have the damage? The boulder smash is there in time, but RTZ still going to work. Sam H getting lower and lower. Stick charges up. Can he get this kill? RTZ stays alive. No calling blade. Not yet anyway for the axe. He's just almost level six, and maybe he gets that kill with it, but good turn there for Evil Genius. This great shackles underneath the tower coming out from crit. Damn, that wow. saves it from them, so they can't pressure the enemy carry, and meanwhile, Raven still just kind of down here. Really feeling 25 last. It's almost doubled up here by Universe. will now come mid. Just Ooh, ensuring Samail was going to be okay. Top lane, Sam H running it again. God, those counter helix procs. And almost level 6 once more for Sam H. He will get it here. Just needs to bring these creeps down. Ooh, RTG EG. still getting chased. Tim's, again, he has the boulder smash. Rolling boulder as well, but here comes the bash to come out. Fairy Fire's there. Boulder Smash comes in. Nice swift dodge from Arteezy. Blinking. Thinking about it. Now looking for Tim's. He doesn't have the Mana Void. He needs another Blink to get this kill. And he might go for it. But instead, they turn their back. They know some heroes are on the way. Battle Hunger will come through. Call is going to be there. Sam H. He's got the Calling Blade. And he will use it. Not once. Can he get it twice is the question. Yes. Double kill for Sam H. Just gets the perfect spin. Wow. Damn, dude. Yeah. Uh, that, that sends him in towards that Blink Dagger. Very well done. Yeah, he just bought Tranquils too, and he's back up to the gold he had previously. Cuckoo's gonna leave mid, so they are healing this back up. It was very close, it was deny range, but of course, Tree and Protector. So, they're gonna try and hold on to it. I thought maybe Cuckoo could get a push going too with the Tree and dead, but... Uh, he backed away, and now Zai will be back, so they'll continue that going. Uh, because but, there uh, is that pressure mid, they do rotate a couple heroes, and especially Am dying. They get a little bit of farm for Raven, but now getting chased down Zai. Um, what spot, I guess? The sentry just caught him, and so Raven's like, I need to run. Uh, yeah. Like, 300 pure damage. I mean, that means if Zai walks up, stuns him, and there's a long-range purify on Zai, he's just dead on Raven. Oh, yeah. He will just go down. I mean, he already had to Sunder. Look at this. Raven thinks he's safe right now, and he might be. Zai's the only one here, but here comes crit Rasta. So he needs to be very careful. Using his illusions to farm, it'll take a while, but he doesn't want to die again. And... Well, I am forced into the jungle now. As the creep cutting commences for Sam H. 1,700 gold. If he wants to blink, he certainly can get it pretty soon here, Trent. And they're even glyphing up as Universe will take this tower for himself. What a Damn. fantastic start to a game for uh, an Omni Knight. 4,500 yeah, gold. Midas secured. Universe, so the offlaner, seems to find farm. And kills wherever he can. Top net worth god by a, lo a long shot. Yeah, you're I right. mean, they've given him some great matchups uh, in these past two games. The Void into the, uh, the Slark, and then now this Omni Knight into a TV with these uh, greedier supports once again here from TNC. I mean, often with an Earth Spirit, you, you want to put as much pressure as possible because you know he doesn't want to spend time in the safe lane, but this is just like a whole other level with the CM being so greedy too. It'll no. be very impressive if uh, Raven can do the same sort of a bounce back thing. I mean, it's the same strat, right? Get this Iron Town early on. Of course, you're a Terror Blade, so these illusions uh, start getting a little bit crazy. Uh, it'll kind of be on Sumail to uh, to go for these ganks and try and shut them down. Zai to keep shadowing them like that as well. Speaking of Sumail, Arcane's up to 1,000 gold as well, so getting kind of close to his blank. But guess what? Sandwich has his. They immediately TP with Rior. They'll go for the smoke, and they're going to head into the jungle. The universe is the target they ping, but I'm not sure they can bring that target down. They need a couple more heroes in that top lane if they want to go for it. Keep well, right. Very reminiscent of the last game of the Knicks. Blink there call in. comes out. There's the silence come through with the rolling boulder. He is pretty tanky. Boulder smash coming out the LSA. And they now finally have the damage. They don't even need to use the calling blade. Universe getting pushed back. 
Purification, he thought about using it again. GA also up. So, Universe has all these abilities ready, but can he save the tower is the question. The creep wave is pushing in, and uh, there is a glyph. Something to keep in mind. But it looks like that's going to be it. As they're maybe thinking about going on Raven Bottom. They have Zai nearby, but actually Anti-Mage is blinking away. Doesn't want to deal with this. All right. Good uh, turnaround there. Finding that blink kill. And they're going to go again. Sandwich is coming. No word I think spotted this. Maybe this one mid did, but I'm not sure. TP's coming in. Raven's still a bit further up. Zai's nearby. Might wrap around and go for a gank. Raven's going to back himself away. He has Sunder, by the way. But uh, won't get a chance to use it. He's going to just stay safe for now. And Sam H is just sitting mid, saying, I want to kill. Badly. Yeah, I mean, this Arcane Aura is so helpful for heroes like this. Uh, they uh, even TG. just shrine up on the Lina. He's just going to see this as he gets jumped on. The Rolling Boulder is there. The Silence is up. The LSA, the Cole, boom. Sam H, this Blink is doing some serious good work here, Trent. This is what they need. It has to be on the Axe. You know, this game, uh, you look at how this is going to go. It's all on him. To set a tempo here with the Lina, create that space once again here, like they did last game with the Nyx Assassin for the Slark. They're doing it again here for the Terror Blade. His eye gonna steal that bounty rune. Bash. The stun, but Rior is here. Seed. Universe is nearby. Sunder comes out, so Universe will take some damage. They're looking to jump in Boulder oh, Smash. Nice the stop. Silence is there. The Frostbite. The Call. Sam H is there again. Now Zai try to get out. Another one. They get the kill regardless, even though the Calling Blade actually misses. But huge kill. Universe, top net worth hero, going down. Um, just to the right place, the right time again for TNC. And it's impressive. I mean, this is what we said. We, we expect them to have this kind of like first half of the game to have this advantage. So uh, they're getting it done. Uh, there, there's no question, though, that it is kind of tough to execute. Like there, there was a pretty deep dive there to get that AM, right? Uh, and no rotations came through. No one able to save them in time because of how fast they're bursting people down. It's like reminiscent of what SG were trying to do earlier today with that Legion commander and the Morphling uh, with the E-Blade yeah. and the Ember Spirit. And they're just trying to like go, go, go and keep it going. But they're actually on pace and on time here for TNC. So yeah. Impressive stuff for sure, and that terribly he's doing it, man. He's past the Magnus and the uh, the AM, so TNC strategy Again, here, dude. just sacking Raven, is working out and, so and it, well. They've done this multiple times, not just in this tournament, but just throughout their their Dota 2 games. Now the smoke is up. Zai will scout things out and will drop uh, a Crystal Nova and D Ward that Sentry real quick, but uh, no luck there getting an initiation from the Axe. So EG will survive this time around. But you're right, man. Though Raven is somehow farmed, and. Uh, TNC, they're looking to push that timing that you talked about a moment ago, and they're going to do it into this tier 2 tower. Metamorphosis is back up. It is level 4, and everybody is up here. Even with Living Armor and Glyph, I'm not sure what you could do if you're EG. And look where the wave is. It's like Crick can't even punish this with snakes or something down here. Uh, just this control they have thanks to Terror Blade. So there's really nothing to gain for EG anywhere else on the map. And they're already going to start rotating people down in the jungle, I'm sure. Try and get some vision back out here. They, they have some, and the spot Universe, maybe, uh, maybe they'll come down, but. Damn, dude. I'm feeling pretty good for TNC, gotta say. Yeah. They've turned it around. I mean, it wasn't even that bad of an early game. Sammich had a great job top lane, and of course, Cuckoo just getting all the farm he needed. Uh, he has picked himself up a Yule Scepter, and they might go for a defense. He pops the Invis rune. He needs more heroes nearby, though. It can't just be him. It's, a. Uh... You know, like last game, this train did so much work because they uh, they only had what Slark and PL, so the building hitting was pretty weak, especially in the early game. So it, it was easy for the train to try and like hold stuff down and, and try and slow down the overall pace. Uh, again, much like we had in our first series of the day with OG and SG, but Timbers or rather a Terra Blade's a pretty good counter the train protector just because of how he's a guy that pops metamorphosis and he finishes the tower. That's his job, you know. Uh, it's on this big yeah. cool now, but it's so much bonus damage that teams, they tend to fully commit when, when they're going in for something with this guy, so it's hard for a, a train protector to really bring you on back, so uh, they're heading in towards this rush pit. Wouldn't be uh, too bad to get some vision up in the surrounding area. They already got this ward up here, spawning out quite a few rotations up and through. I will say, man, we have yet to see the full impact of Empower and a Battle Fury from Anti-Mage. It's still early on enough that he doesn't quite have it yet, and once that... Oh, he might even die here. That's the problem. Unfortunately, they're going to get caught. Magnetize, good purification. The Repel oh, will come out. Blink oh, call, but it only again. catches the Omni Knight. Can they get this kill is the question. Frostbite, they've got the calling blade. He gets off the GA. That might be enough. They're going to try to turn this around. Raven, no metamorphosis. does that Sunder. Jumping in skewers there. Rior is going to fall. Oh, perfect purification from Universe. Sam H misses that call, and now he is all alone. Shackles and EG will turn it right around and pick up two. Sumail finds himself a double kill, and uh, Arteezy... Almost dies, but uh, Universe there to save him. The yeah, and there are the rotations this time, and that is a lot of gold on the mail. But bottom lane, Cuckoo. they will LSA kill. Yeah, that is a dead crit. Stick charge is not enough to save him. 
They have RP blink, but Sumail just kind of waiting, hesitating here, seeing who's up. Oh, now he's this big juicy TB. Yeah, Metamorphosis is ready. I don't know if they want to use it for just this tier one tower, especially. They've already used living armor, but the glyph will come. All right. Oh, it's so tempting to pop it just to finish that, but it looks like Cuckoo's going to be the one to do it. Good Yules. A couple auto attacks should do the job. Boulder smash there. LSA on time. Rolling Boulder in. Overgrowth. They need a Laguna. He doesn't have the mana for it. Cuckoo going to fall, and Tim's might be next as well. The they tower. RP. He does. He gets the tower. Now he's going to try to get out, but no such luck. Smail blinks right in front, finds himself another double kill. And uh, TNC perhaps staying a bit too long again. Man, this is where they have to be really careful not losing this early game edge that they have. Um, it already wasn't too much in terms of the uh, overall gold here. It was mostly the experience, but they're, uh, I guess they're both now falling um, closer, closer to zero. Now the experience will actually be edged out over into EG's favor. Yeah, and uh, we, we talked a lot about Roche today, but they don't have the best rushing heroes on the Bradiant. You know, you're like kind of okay with Terrible, but he's no god tier. There's no minus armor to work with over here. Uh, mm -hmm. Not that the Dire have it much better, but of course, whenever you're pressing an advantage, that's the kind of thing you want to look towards. Uh, no vision on the bottom shrine as they smoke up, so EG looking to go. Again, still no use of this RP. He's going to use it soon. He's got a double damage too, man. Oh, like, that's, that's wait a for it. Lena. Sumail is like, I want a big RP or just a big target. I don't really care which one, but we'll see if they can find anybody. They might have to back up. They will see Tim's. Not really the ideal target, but a kill is a kill. He's underneath his tower now, so if they go for it, they'd have to dive. And uh, TNC's positioning, just good enough. Yeah, they, I mean, they have a ward here. No one's showing. They have a wave pushing mid. No one's showing. So they're in here somewhere. That's a good point. They're behind this tower with Zai, and he sees Tim's. Bottom tower. Yeah, so they, they know, where they know at this point they're shadowing Arteezy, and they'll all just show. Yeah, and they'll just go for the tier 2 tower, which is pretty good at this point. They they could use some more gold. Uh, question is, what does Raven back. do? I oh, he's coming, Roche. So these are their options. They could have pressured tier three, could have walked in here and pressured mid because the creeps are coming, or they can go for Roche. So this is what their commitment's going to be. If they TP in, they're still going to have RP. They have the shrine, but uh, they do have the vision up here. Can they TNC. do this fast enough? They do have Metamorphosis back up now, which is huge. They'll they should take be the able tower. To. EG, are they going to go for a contention? Sumail does not have a, a TP scroll, which is a bit unfortunate. By the time they get there, Roche should be dead, and they will grab the Aegis for Raven. Now crits. This is uh, a risky play. Call comes out. There's the purification. They have Cuckoo still alive. The Guardian Angel used Laguna Blade, Calling Blade. It's there. GA used and uh, nothing out of it. It's just a defensive GA that turns pretty poorly all of a sudden for EG. And now they're looking for Zai as well. The dust is up. The blank call. Samage finds it again. The silence is there. The LSA, another call. Samage again. A double kill once more. Oh, man. Very aggressive coming out from TNC. Like, you never know. There could have been people TPing to the, t the tower, too, kind of at the same time. But I guess the creeps just letting this vision be enough and hoping that there wasn't any TPing the trees and moving over. But it pays off heavily. Uh, they get two supports. Now they move forward. They get another tower off the back of this Aegis. So TNC, as you said, it took a little while there. But uh, with that yeah. full commitment down bottom and the lack of TP on Sumail, there was really no hope for them to contest. And he's going for a four staff as well. So not going to go for that Shadow Blade that we tend to see. Uh, this is more of the item for when they are fully five-man grouping and you don't think you're going to be able to sneak through. Like, they'll probably have sentries when they're grouping up like that and your Shadow Blade might be useless rather than how good it is at split push. So uh, he's going to have to try and make plays with Force. Yeah. Extending that range of the initiation potential from the Magnus. We haven't really talked too much about Arteezy, just uh, that he's getting towards a, a Battle Fury. He has it now. He's working on uh, what is going to be his Yashi, which is flying out, I believe, as we speak. It's Vance style, which should be next. So again... It's one of those, they have the anti-mage, they have the potential to come back. It sure doesn't look great right now, um, but it's not that bad. 5,000 net worth advantage at most, it's more like 4,000 for TNC. So Trent, you, you have the Aegis, what do you do here? Wait for the next meta and then make a move there? Well, you really want to keep the tempo up for sure. I mean, again, we talk and talk and talk, but it's AM, and uh, he is Battle Fury. He has the Empower actually being stacked on him now. We're starting to see uh, a little bit more of a connection between Arteezy and Sumail. So Arteezy's GPM is going to start skyrocketing and going through the roof. He'll probably end up surpassing that TV pretty soon. And uh, we all know what can happen when he gets like Abyssal Manta, right? He's just going to blow up any fun. hero of his choice, especially yeah. with an Omni Knight backing him up. Yeah, the purification will be there. These fights definitely get more difficult. You're absolutely right. And look at this, too. With no Lina here, these are doing so much work, these snakes. Yeah. These, they are going to get close to this tower. I think it is going to just be denied. Looks like it, yeah. Close, so. but... Tower's a tower. Anyway, yeah, what else is go. coming out? Nartizzi takes the top slot. Yeah, and and he might be there for a bit if uh, EG can sort of split up the map and maybe even find a couple of pickoffs for themselves. 
keep the bottom wave pushing while this is all happening, sort of threaten that tier 3 tower high ground sort of thing that TNC have to be aware of. But they're already starting Raven to push mid. I think the uh, the biggest thing for me coming out next will be um, not just the Bloodstone for the Lina, but probably the Blink Dagger for Tim's. Really let this guy show his prowess and why he's so good on this hero. Uh, it's especially useful when you're starting to get into these high ground territories. Uh, you gotta I mean, you know, fully initiate, commit. He's already made plenty of plays, and I know mm -hmm. that might just be standard for an Earth Spirit when you see somebody like Jerax or something, but... Uh... No, he, he's definitely done a great job so far this game. He's found a couple of kills because of him. And because of Sam H combining up as well. But, you're right, Lena getting her next item up here momentarily. And, uh... Does she already have the... Her Bloodstone just yeah, finished. Yeah, she just had, yeah she just got it. I was wondering if she had the recipe, but she does yet. So, Bloodstone is now up. Respawn timer. Pretty short. Is she level 15 yet? She is. She went for the 50 damage, as expected. We very rarely see any mid Lina's go for the 30 minus 30 second respawn time. Sometimes we'll see supports do. In fact, Trent, you and I have cast games recently where the supports will go for that minus 30 seconds. But the 50 damage is a mid laner is just too much to pass up, I think. Yeah, I've seen a couple mids pass it when they go like, if there's like a really good Ags game or if they're not getting enough farm for a Bloodstone, you might end up with this like kind of hybrid build where you're almost more of like a magic ganker rather than the, uh, you know, walking turret that is current Lena, the new sniper, the new lone druid. Pick, yeah. you know, pick your favorite, but uh, yeah, 50 damage is just unbelievable with the fiery soul. Yeah, watch how fast this thing dies, even without meta. Three stacks, fiery soul, your tower's gone. But there is going to be an attempt at a trade here from EG. Whether they go for it fully, they'll drop the Serpent Wars. They are committed. However, yeah. It looks like TNT do not care. Meta. They, again, still have Aegis. They have meta. They have Manta style. This tier 3 tower might fall very quickly. There is Glyph. TP's coming back already very quickly. A lot of damage already done. The Living Armor will go. Zai looking to walk up. More illusions going. Skewer back. They found Raven. Can they get this kill? They've used the Purification. The Leech Seed is up. They get the Bash up as well, but they can't find the kill. Sandwich is coming in. The Sunder comes out as well, and now he'll continue onwards in terms of taking this tier 3 tower. They've got the call. Crit getting caught. If the Dragon Slave, Laguna Blade, just in time is going to be that repel. Jump in, RTZ, double mana void. RP, it's going to be on to two. Good LSA to come through. Can Raven dish up the damage is the question? A lot being done. RTZ will fall. He's got buyback. Now Universe, GA pop, but will it be enough? Crit already getting dropped down. Tim's no rolling bullet. The Silence will get the job done on the other side. Looking for a call. Oh. Now Cuckoo going back in. The repel is there, but the damage, it's too much from Cuckoo. Age is gone. They have buybacks on two heroes, but the racks might just get cleaned up here, Trent. Well, they oh. try to go for this. What on a EG good golf by TNC to head into the words list. Like, uh, RTZ is just a little bit late coming back. He saves for that other wave. He wants to apply that pressure, but then there's this really sick skewer in RP, but he's not there to follow up, so the Sunder gets off. There's no damage from the AM, and that repel, it was great too, but then it wasn't there for AM. So he yeah. jumps in and applies all this damage. He just dies. Man. And that is a racks, and they want more. Like yeah. You're here, there's 25 more seconds. They really don't want to buy back on RTZ, and uh, he might have to, or else they're going to get double rexed. Raven again better, has been used. He doesn't have his Aegis. Blink Skewer back. They might be able to get this kill. He's low and low, but the call will be there in time. On to two. Sam H is going in. The LSA, the calling play. The Guna Blade comes out as well. Sam H finds himself a double kill. and oh, uh, Raven cancels his TP. He's staying. He's Sundering. Yeah, he or. wants to go. He's Sundered in, and... Rory's like, that's fine. I've got Tranquils. You guys take that Rax. They've got one full set down bottom, and they're about to get another in mid. AM has respawned. The price of not using buyback is two Rax down. TNC are moments away from 2 0 EG in the opening series, or one of the opening series for the Kiev Major. Sumel is forced to buy back his RP back up in 27 seconds, and that will be the signal to leave for TNC. Looks like that'll be that. EG lose so much out of that fight. In fact, I don't know if anybody on TNC died there, by the way. Uh, no. I don't no, think they so. Did not. Yeah. <laughs> they did not. They were not able to grab a single kill uh, throughout the entirety of that. That That is just unbelievable. So well played by TNC. I mean, man. man, that combo coming from AM as well, too. They, uh... Oh, I guess they got Rior once, right? Did they? No. No, that was before. No, yeah, they got that one. That, that was it. Damn, dude. TNC Dota. I mean, you can't ask for much more, honestly. Out of this lineup and up against EG. Just uh, using this Terrorblade and pressuring and pressuring it. And we knew it was possible with the draft. Like you said, yeah. With, with these heroes, you could see TNC doing it, but I can't say I expected it. No, I mean, especially kind of earlier on in the game. Every time we see Raven get attacked, we're like, oh, he's not going to get farm. It might be a bit rough here. At least that's what I'm thinking. And then all of a sudden, they just, like, he finds farm somewhere in the ether. I don't know. And he comes <laughs> back, and it's great. So...
pretty oh, good man. stuff for Raven this game. Such a slim window for them to punish, too, because you know EG was just aiming for the next Aegis. Uh, they get that up online, they can sneak in, they were gonna have the medallion on the Treant. Uh, in fact, it's done now. Uh, and then they would have the Basher up on the AM, they get that Aegis going, they have the Omni Knight, and, and then it's them who are in control. And they're cleaving and they're fighting. But uh, they found that window, and that's what's so difficult with these drafts. And a lot of the time, OG makes it look easy, but there's a reason they're like the best team in the world. They use this Terra Blade so well, and they pressure in, and uh, it looks like TNC are doing it as well. I've seen Raven kind of own on this hero before, but to do it against, you know, these guys are playing a lot of these Southeast Asian tournaments, and the region obviously doesn't get uh, the most respect, uh, especially the respect that it probably deserves, much like uh, NA can kind of suffer yeah. the same problems. We're a little yeah. bit of like brother regions in that way, but... I think especially now, there are some... We've already talked about some of the SEA teams. Happy yeah. Feet, High Ground, Warriors Gaming Unity, all very solid. Not even mentioning Faceless or Fnatic, or Mineski for that matter. Some exceptional teams in that region, and TNC got some very good practice. They're still... Uh, they haven't finished this game off yet. So EG, they're still hanging on by a thread, I could say. There's one set of racks up top of the Tier 3 tower. Uh, trying to keep all the waves pushed out. The net worth graph has plateaued after those fights happened. It's 15,000 in favor of TNC. And EG are going to have to come up with some big plays from Sumail, especially, to find uh, a victory here. And Roche yeah, is up. Well, in terms of uh, longer cooldowns, RP is definitely one of them. Does not get held to it by higher levels or anything like that. It's still always going to be two minutes. So, uh, yeah, you're, you're not wrong. <laughs> if Sumail messes up and doesn't get quite the right one, or even if they just end up doing some like buyback plays, there is potential for them to just come right back. As TNC, and you can see, uh, we talked about Diffusal Blade Heroes. They are going to grab Crit up here. Oh, well, actually, it's gra Tim <laughs> Crit who's grabbing yeah. Tim's, rather, but uh, yes. can yeah, they punish? Dropped. Well, now the question is, can they get it out? Uh, Serpent Wards were used. Raven just comes in and blows them away. They don't get the other uh, hero, which, of course, was going to be Zai, who TPs out and is able to make it away safely. And then they'll get back into Roche, as it was already, you know, half HP as we went in there. I'll seize it up, and Raven will come in and help finish this off. RTZ is doing what he can. He's just pushing bottom, as expected. I mean, he's got Basher. What else can you get here, this game, Trent? What is the item of choice for RTZ? I feel like you need so much. Uh, I mean, it just has to be the Abyssal, and then, well, from there, he'll just have to work on whatever's going on from the side of uh, TNC. But the uh, the Fusal Blade is done up here for Raven. So he can get that going. And uh, not going to worry about that Guardian's Angel. Came out to, in a pretty key moment there in the last fight. Wasn't quite enough to win it, of course, but now not going to be of a, uh, a concern to the Radiant. Yeah. <laughs> Universe with such a fast start, but some unfortunate, I guess, picks that happened to him. Not really enough to stay alive in certain instances. This is this game has not been on him, by the way. And it's really not been on anybody from EG. It's just TNC has played well. You know, the draft worked out perfectly in terms of the timing they were looking for, as you previously mentioned. And again, it's not over yet. EG still have potential. You know, get a late game AM and see what happens. Because it, it could sort of get things out of control, especially with Empower. Yeah, we can still have to watch out for those wobble combos or not from the uh, from the Dire team. I mean, the Radiant, uh, we do still have a 10-second BKB sitting on Sam H, so this is kind of their uh, uh, trump card, as it were, just to ensure that they're not going to get totally wiped here. He can just BKB, come in, cancel stuff, as long as he's not uh, totally chained up or, or anything like that. So, Raven hitting that high ground, has the Aegis. Standing proud and tall up there. A little bit of a cluster back here in these two heroes, but not exactly the uh, RP of your dreams here is Cuckoo coming from the side. Yeah, crit. Oh, the LSA. LSA misses, and because of that, he throws the Laguna Blade, and it won't do enough damage to get the kill. Raven, in the meantime, still going to work. Hex Sumail was looking for that Blink Skewer. Finds it. It's actually oh, the Axe. He blinks in. The call won't go. The BKB is finally They found Sumail, and here comes the Scotty going to work. The Freezing Field is up as well. Arteezy, he'll take down Rior. Buyback coming in from Crit. Sunder comes out, and Axe still going to work. Jump in. RP onto three. Is this going to be enough? Arteezy walking in. Do they have the damage? Everybody's low. They'll finally take damage. They get the ages. They get another hero. It's Tim's falling, and there it is. Cuckoo LSA. That'll be up under RTZ. Doesn't have a Laguna Blade purification coming out. Raven still trying to do some work here. Skewer back into the shrines. RTZ solo, but Raven can't find him. They found the hex up. Cuckoo getting chased down. LSA ready to go, and he gets it off just in time. Purification comes out. Zai solo. One more auto attack gets the kill. And the Yules will come out as well. Can he make it away? He denies himself with the Bloodstone. Also getting out is going to be Raven. However. Rax is going to be safe. The tier 3 didn't go down either. Beautiful defense command from EG there, Trent. Yeah, it uh, cost credit's buyback, but uh, you can see they're playing so hesitant there from EG as well. Like, Arteezy, he really wanted that kill onto Raven or possibly the lean up. He's just a little bit too low. Might have been able to get it, but it's just uh, slightly too risky. 
and just wants to make sure that he stays alive here. So oh. he'll clear up that tier one mid with the Manta. He's got his Abyssal Blade and uh, played exceptionally well that fight. He didn't have to drop the Mana Void. Just kind of holding it, trying to find that perfect I, RP yeah, moment. Yeah, I, I thought he was going to use it there with the the RP, but I guess decided against it. I'm not sure. But And how about Samael holding on to that for that perfect moment, too? Yeah, it was looking pretty bad once they got the blink uh, in from the axe and he just called him. But Samael going to get spotted now. LSA should be there. Oh, misses again. Cuckoo just not at the right timing and throws the Laguna Blade once more. Uh, auto attacks. Purification comes out. The Greaves as well. Cuckoo, I don't know about this, my friend. This is not worth it. Repel. He goes up to the high ground and, uh, okay. A Getting a little crazy right. here. Yeah. Uh, but this is that time. I mean, 25 seconds left until RP. They are not going to be back here. Quite a time. They have the wave mid. Maybe, oh, yeah. Raven's feeling the pressure. He's going in. And more they got that timer going. 15 more seconds now. Yeah, they really want to do this. The living armor now down. Tier 3 tower with no glyph. It's gone. Now, they'll jump in. RTZ trying to fight. Mantis from Raven as well. LSA, RTZ did have that repel up. Doesn't use the defusal charge yet from Raven. And they might just back. Here we go, though. Cuckoo coming in. Living armor's up and ready to go. And look at the reach of Sumail with the force app. They are very clustered here. Yeah, this they need to be, be careful. They have fight. good vision with this observer. I don't. TNC might back here because meta's going to be done soon. Yeah, they're going to just say that's enough of that. Jeez. Okay. Well, they got the tier three. They put some damage under the range racks. But again, there is living armor this time around. Yeah, it's probably time to start uh, heading back in towards the slow burn of things. Uh, thinking about the next Aegis and uh, just trying to get your economic advantage. Just knowing that you've taken down two lanes, they're pushing in, they're worth less gold. Trying to abuse that on your team, trying to get into another round of items that can put you uh, a little bit too high above that dire side. Well, EG say, screw that. We're going to smoke up and yeah, Cuckoo would be a great target. That'd be great. Yeah. He is Shadow Bladed. There was a gem on someone. The universe has it. Ah. They see him now. Blink jump in. They found the Hex. The Lincoln Sphere is broken. Cuckoo is more than likely dead. RTZ absolutely destroys him. Damn, that's a Bloodstone respawn, too. Yeah. Still 35 seconds. Fantastic. Yeah, I mean, that's seconds. what they have to do, right? Yeah. They don't really have a choice. They, they are going to be smoking out looking for kills, and Cuckoo was trying to use this ward for safety, but the smoke will uh, be the death of him. All right. TNC will play together. Getting picked off. Not exactly what they want to have happen. Raven working into that butterfly now. Yeah, Great and RTZ choice. sees this too. You know, you're talking about what's his next item going to be. He spotted the evasion already on the onto Raven, so it's time to go for an MKB. Yeah. You know, RTZ might be able to live pretty long now if the repel is there. You know, they, he didn't have the repel for when he died, and they lost that uh, two set of racks disadvantage. But now I think Universe is going to make sure the repel is ready for him. With RP initiation, they could easily find something. When's Roche respawning? We got a while, man. Saddle in. We could be yeah. here for a bit. This is pretty much uh, what it's come down to. Uh, Universes are saying, uh, pretty standard item build. If you guys want to play your offlane Omnis, you want that blink to increase your own range. Make sure you're always there for those repels when they're in time. The purifications too. Even just the Guardian Angel, sometimes you got to blink right into the fight for it. Uh, and then there's this talent too for the plus 75 cast range, which doesn't feel like a lot, but a lot of the times that's what it comes down to. With this new repel, that uh, 11 second downtime, just such a different hero than he used to be. Mm -hmm. Tim is blinking very aggressively as they chase his eye. Oh, they will find him. The call comes out, Laguna, and he is dead. Is this going to be enough to push them in towards this tier 3 and this Rax is the question. Uh, they'll probably tease it a little bit here, but uh, still a little sketch, of course, with Sumail. RTZ has to Oh, what's our buyback back? situation? No buybacks for, for Sumail. That's pretty Sumail. huge. AM has one, so does Universe jumping in. RTZ found the first hit bash. Abyssal is ready, but now he's just getting jumped on. There's going to be the jump in. Can they bring him down? Yes, they can. The Axe. Huge call there. He has to buy back. Meanwhile, the RP is gone in Sumail. BKB down, and he's going to die to these auto attacks. The Shrine's not in time. Down for 70 seconds, and RTZ is going to have to do this without the help of his trusty mag. He actually just got enough to buy back. He just gets it, but RTZ might fall again. The silence is there. The LSA. He's not dead yet, but GG is already called. And thinking that he might have just fallen and the racks will fall it's gonna be megas is it actually gg it absolutely T -N -C, is wow no, no. tnc what a 2-0 victory unbelievable start to this key of major dear god man yeah, hell of a draft uh, again they just they see this moment with the terrorblade and they say look you know this is an am 